Blues Airsoft, and I um, thought I would do a short video about my chest rig, because a few of you asked. So I'm going to go over, you know, how I run it, uh, how I have my pouches set up, what I run in my pouches for Airsoft. Uh, and then I'll uh, do a little review on the Onward Research uh, Recce rig, which is the rig that this is, and what I think about it. And uh, I haven't really seen that many reviews about this that are Airsoft related. They're all like real steel related. So like how this uh, rig does for airsoft. So uh, we'll go over to the table and I'll show you uh, the rig and then do a little review. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. So this is the Onward Research uh, Recce rig. So first let's go over my setup and how I run it. So starting off, how I run the mag pouches, uh, double stacked uh, AR style mag pouches with uh, Velcro over thing, is I run these three double stacks. So that's six mags and this is my like quick mag as you can imagine uh because this are the closest one of my support hand here and basically what i did was because airsoft mags are a little bit shorter than real mags is i got a uh, piece of cardboard wrapped it in electrical tape and shoved it down in there so the mag sticks up a little bit higher than the rest of them so i can e easily pull it out and my dangler is a um, haley strategic uh dangler and what i run in it is i run my uh eye protection which are uh oakley m frames well notice something about my gear i don't overload stuff because most of my gear like my batteries my uh water and stuff are in my backpack which is an lbx so i don't overload my chest rig okay so in here uh sometimes i'll have a little bit more like electro tape grenades stuff like that the things that are always in here are anti-fog i always have a thing anti-fog on me because in airsoft we all know you know you fog up and then you're out of the fight so you spray a little bit of this on before the round and in my experience it lasts a couple hours and you need this rag right here to rub it in uh so it's not just wet on your thing you rub that in and then you're good uh obviously my dead rag because you need a dead rag because when you get shot you need to signify that you're shot and some sort of fiber optic cloth for my uh for anything really but mainly my eye protection and then moving up, I have a T-Rex Arms uh, elastic uh, tourniquet holder. I have this for anything I just need to shove in there really quick. Uh, maybe Milsim West tourniquets, just stuff like that that I just need to shove in there really quick just to have on me. Um, maybe like a rubber knife or something like that. And then, go to the side here. I run this radio pouch in all my loadouts. It's a uh, Kydex uh, Beofang UV5R radio pouch with the extended battery pack and my radio obviously it's a uv5r pouch so i'm running a uv5r with the extended battery pack um and it's routed to a ptt that i have on my left shoulder uh and this is just a normal ptt uh someday i'll probably want to upgrade because i have problems a lot accidentally pushing that button off my gear and that just hooks to my uh peltor comms and I can talk with people. Now, let's go around back for a minute. A really good upgrade I recommend for any chest rig is the T-Rex Arms uh, back strap. I really like this back strap because it's a bit wider than the ones that come with it. So it's a little bit better on your back. And it has elastic. Now, something you know about chest rigs is when you adjust uh, them, they're either too tight or too loose. Now, with the elastic, you tighten it and it just you know the elastic when you breathe it makes it a lot more breathable uh and also another cool thing about the t-rex arm strap is you can quickly adjust it you can quickly adjust it like this i don't really have that much adjustment on mine because i got pretty much how i wanted it but if imagine if you were running this over armor or something you could very easily adjust it to running over armor and then adjust it back to running over or just running on your body this is something this is a spiritus system gp tall uh and in the front, this front pouch right here, I'll have my mat, whatever field I'm going to. A game that's going to go in tonight, which is a lot of milsims, I will have my night vision right in here. And this Team Windy pouch with a uh, PVS-14 uh, PVS uh, night vision binocular, which has the dovetail. So I just pull it out and then I just clip it right onto the uh, mount. And then I just cinch it down and it goes around my helmet just like that. Now that I went over the overview on how I run this particular rig, 
uh, let's go over the actual review of the rig itself. Now, this is the Onward Research Recce rig, like I said before. And it's um, made by Onward Research, which is Graham Thumb, which is a YouTuber's company. So these things are here are pretty hard to get. Uh, to get this one, I had to uh, wait for as soon as it dropped, and I had to order it. Uh, I originally wanted to get it in multicam, and it went in seconds. But if you wait, you'll be able to get it. But unless you want to spend like $360 get buying it from a scalper, uh, they are pretty tricky to get. Uh, this one in particular one is a multicam tropic. Uh, now, like I said on the front, it has eight magazines for ARs. Uh, but something I really like about this rig, especially for airsofters, because in airsoft we use a lot of different platforms, is you can run AR mags, but also you can run AK mags. Uh, they just go in the same, which is very good for airsoft, because we all know you know you have multiple rigs for all your different airsoft guns, and it just gets annoying. And also uh you can run 308 mags now the problem with these other mags is you can really only run four you can you can double stack the ak mags but the flap really doesn't work uh same with the 308 mags and as you can see the 308 mags they go right on in there something about the 308 mags and the ak mags is it's a it's it's a little bit tricky to reinsert them uh you gotta use two hands which can be pretty annoying compared to the ar mags where you can insert them with one hand uh, it's a little bit trickier to insert three and three mags. Now, like I said earlier, with this tab, a problem with this tab is I recommend when you get this rig, bend them in. Okay, bend them in like this if you're using AR mags, because what will happen if they're out is you'll fold this and it will get flipped down like that. Okay, and it will get bent like that, and then after a while your mags won't secure because you'll put this down and this will be bent like this. And it won't secure, then it will come open. Mag pouches do have elastic on the side, uh, which I do uh, do like. Because when you take the mags out, it gets pretty uh, slim and compact. And then going in the back right here, there is a mat pouch. Now, something about this mat pouch, which I not, don't really like, is I like running my rigs tight. And when I have it tight, I can't really use this because it's Velcro. And it's pushing against me, and it just gets closed. So I have to kind of hold it up with both hands. So I don't really use that that much, but... Now, going on the sides, there are two slots of molly. Uh, I do think two slots of molly is pretty nice because it, it's really nice for wearing, when you're wearing backpacks. And you don't have to, like, reach all the way behind your back to secure your straps. Uh, but if you're not wearing something that's too molly like this, for example, like this, uh, people, some people just think you just can't run things that are, like, more than two slots of molly. But this is four slots. And what I did was, was I just zip-tied it like this. So you can run stuff that's more than two slots of molly, and it works. And right there, you get your little Onward Research logo. And around back, you have your Velcro. Now, that's one of my favorite features about this rig. You have your Velcro, so you can run all your uh, pouches. Or if you have the, have the wing um, radio pouches, you can run them. Uh, it has an H harness with uh, routing for routing wires or routing um, hydration packs and stuff like that. Uh, but overall... If you can get one, it is a very nice rig. Probably one of the best ones on the market for real steel and for airsoft, really. So overall, I do think it's a really nice rig. So that's my review uh, and overview of my own research recce rig. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you uh, got some ideas for your rig. Or if you have any like recommendations or something I could do to my rig, uh, just uh, leave a comment down below. And I got some more gear reviews coming out soon, so stay tuned and uh, subscribe to Foo's Airsoft.